everyone. Welcome to the QAC TV studio. My name is Marshall and this is Stacey Voorhees. She is the Senior Center Administrator for Queen Anne's County. Would you like to introduce yourself? Thank you, Marshall. Yes, I am the current Senior Center Administrator for Queen Anne's County Area Agency on Aging and I oversee the three senior centers in the county. And I, that's what we're here to talk about today. First, thank you for the opportunity to join you. I'm excited to share that September is National Senior Center Month. Mm -hmm. And this is the perfect opportunity to shine a light on senior centers and the vital role that they play for older adults in the community. This year, the theme for Senior Center Month is Strengthening Community Connections. So can you tell us a little bit about what you do at the Senior Center? Absolutely. Um, Queen Anne's County currently operates three senior centers serving persons 55 and older. There are three locations in the county in Graysonville, Ken Island, and Sudlersville. We are looking forward to adding a fourth location soon as part of the new YMCA that's currently under construction in Centerville. So no matter where you live in Queen Anne's County, there's always a senior center that's close by to home. So what kind of activities can you expect from the senior centers? Yeah, senior centers provide countless hours of support, encouragement, social engagement, and purpose for older adults within the community, all within a social and fun environment. Some of the services and activities that you can find are fitness rooms, computer labs, we offer a congregate lunch daily at 12 o'clock, health and fitness programs, personal enrichment programs, information and assistance um, where folks can come in and meet with benefits counselors and talk about any benefits that they might have questions on. Bingos, that's a big highlight, is the bingos and special events, that, just to name a few. Additionally, we partner with community partners to provide additional resources. Some of those are Chesapeake College. They offer fitness and enrichment classes such as enhanced fitness, yoga, ceramics, rug cooking, and a variety of dance classes. Uh, we also partner with the local Queen Anne's County Health Department where they offer a monthly community wellness program. That community wellness program is an opportunity for older adults to come in and monitor their blood pressure, glucose, cholesterol, um, those types of things um, on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. And in addition to those, we partner with the University of Maryland Extension Office where a dietitian comes in and provides nutrition education through uh, fresh conversations. These are monthly presentations where she offers a food demonstration and different tips and things in relation to nutrition education. And University of Maryland Shore Regional Health, uh, we have a pharmacist that comes in and she offers top 10 tips for medication safety organization and cost savings tips. So there's a lot of variety of things that are offered in the center, and best of all that is most of those are offered at little or no cost to the members. Awesome, you guys have a lot going on. We do. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you guys, uh, like, so who qualifies to be in a senior center and how do you go about all of that? Sure, um, to be eligible to join any of the Queen Anne's County Senior Centers, you must be 55 years or better. Senior center membership is free. You heard that right, no cost <laughs> to join. Um, however, there is an intake packet that would be filled mm -hmm. out when you join the senior center and again, renewed annually to maintain membership. The best part about completing that intake packet and joining the senior center is no matter where you complete that, whichever location, it's good for all locations within Queen Anne's County. Very nice. Yes. So is there anything that I miss? Is there anything else that you want to talk about today? I encourage everyone to, that's interested to stop in, check it out. Our senior center staff is always happy to greet with a smile and provide information, tours, answer any questions that you have. I mean, you can also pick up the monthly activity calendar and newsletters there. Senior centers are open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And you can find more information about them on QAC.org by searching Senior Centers or following us on Facebook. And this September, I just hope that you will join us and the other senior centers across the nation. Let's celebrate and show how you can strengthen community connections.